Awam, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. The men are doing his work in sincerity and truth and the one third of men, women and children that are listening and learning in all sincerity and humility to you all. I say greetings. OK, so as you can see what I have on the screen, it says um, the United Nations warns that a worldwide food shortage could hit by April or May. OK, and I know we, you know, brothers do lessons on, um, you know, eating and a uh, lack of bread all the time. But I thought this was uh, slightly next level so to speak because see we talk about the food shortage of um of babylon and the two-thirds and things like that but this is how you know this is something that's going to affect the whole world okay and this is another reason why they'll try to choose to bring forth the um global currency okay because they're seeing coronavirus and now that's a worldwide pandemic now they're seeing a worldwide food shortage so the answer to what they're going to feel like the answer to all this is a global currency, a, a new world order. OK. And so when they do and it says the United Nations said this. And so, you know, I looked up there. were uh, There was an article on this as well. But I, I saw this. A brother sent the link. Uh, it was from the South uh, China Morning Post. All right. And this is just like a, a video showing some different clips of um different countries around the world and, and China and, and, and Vietnam and things like that and what they're doing with their exports or lack thereof, so to speak. OK, and there's a couple clips are going to come up and show. But the fact that United Nations is talking about a food shortage by April or May, man, these people are talking about uh, they're ready to get back into their lives. And every Jake I talk to, oh, I can't wait till this thing is over. Can they just it, Israel is so into just waiting to get back into their folly. That's all this is about, man. They don't care about, they're not spending this time to read the scriptures or learn more about Yahweh Shem Yahshai or to even think that these are the end days so they need to tighten up with the Heavenly Father. You know, these people aren't thinking that way. These people are like, can't wait. So, um, you know, talking about the party's going to be super turned up when all of this is over. Hey, man, Yahweh Shem Yahshai is going to destroy you people. All right. And there's going to be a great judgment by the way of lack of food. OK, so I got a uh, I got about five or six precepts I want to get um, just this part. It says if the outbreak can be effect cannot be effectively controlled, it may cause a serious world food crisis and directly threaten food security for China and surrounding nations. OK, and that was March 30th, 2020. OK, so let me get a couple of these verses. Um, I'm going to get second Ezra. Let's just start with that. Second Ezra 15. And 19, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see that? So because of the lack of having food to be able to eat, these people are going to fight all over. again. They're going to fight each other. OK, I was looking at videos, you know, there's different countries around the world where people were fighting each other. And there's food, still some food in the stores. Imagine, imagine when there's no food. And, you know, a video that I watched again was, um, you know, y'all remember last year when everybody was doing videos on uh, how it will go down. And that dude that made that 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 visual, he painted that visual uh, by speaking about how it will all go down and how people begin to hyper inflate their prices and their family. They begin to lose everything they had and die off one by one. These are things that's going to happen, but it's going to be a much harsher reality in that. He made it sound kind of passive almost like it was it was you know yeah intense parts to it but it sounded okay it didn't really emphasize the true depth of um of of <laughs> i don't even know the word of vicious of viciousness all right that these people are about to have towards each other okay because this is about to be a worldwide issue okay and so uh let me get let me get this uh real quick you know because i got some scriptures of comfort in this for the uh hopeful elect all right, Lord willing, we be of that number. This is First Timothy 6 and 8. It says, And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. And see, as I was made, I was you I usually bring out this this uh chapter when I'm trying to get on Jake about uh not caring about uh money, you know, because it says that for the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay, but I, I realize number scripture uh precept eight. 
All right. It, it, it's going to hit a lot differently than it does, than it has ever before, man. All right. Let me see if I can read this one. Um, the reason why I have to get close because I got this bar thing that blocks it. It says the world's largest, the world's, the world's third largest rice importer says. I can't even say what it says, but something will ease domestic uh, food shortages. I can't see it because it's blocked right there. But, um, you know, this is where uh, like Vietnam and places like this there, they put out a lot of rice around the world. And so now in order to make sure their people and this is how, you know, nations are going to fight against nations just to make sure that they, they've been trying to make sure they people good. They starting to care less about the other nations of his food shortages. If we got rice, we ain't about to give our rice to other people. Hey, because when it comes down to it, which is more important, food or money? Food. They ain't about to be selling that shit. They about to keep it for themselves, man. OK, but it says and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. All right. So now when you're realizing now people be, uh, you know, when we was younger, they always my parents always was big on having to say our grace, you know, and blessing our food and things like that. Hey, now you're going to realize like people going to be truly thankful to get a bite to eat. People going to be truly thankful to have something to put over their heads, man. Food and clothing and shelter. You're going to have to be you, you should be content with that. You should have been content with that in the world. But now we see these times close and come closer and closer for judgment. All of these people going to see that all of them uh, being wicked and not understanding the way of the Lord is their gluttony. OK, the gluttony. Let me get something. Let me get this Sirach. Um, cause this one more specific is about a specific person. It's per se, but it applies and it's still helpful for people as a whole. This is Sirach 37, and I'm going to read 29, and then I'm going to jump. I mean, read 20, and then I'm going to jump down to 29. Okay. Uh, verse 20. It says, There is one that showeth wisdom in words and is hated. He shall be destitute of all food. Okay. So all of these cats out here think they got the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. You know, all these uh, Egyptologists, these Edomites. Hey, you know, even a lot of you Jakes, man, you two thirds and you, you people that act like you're Pharisees and your house of Saul. Hey, man, y'all esteemeth yourself like y'all got all the wisdom. All right. All right. Uh, but he, he you're hated by your how about Shemiah was shine. You're going to be hated by the elect. OK, so he shall be destitute of all food. You're not going to be able to eat in these latter days, man. All right. Because the Lord said he's going to he's going to it says for grace is not given him from the Lord because he is deprived of all wisdom. You see that? So the Lord is going to feed his elect. Let me jump down to verse uh, 29. It says, for all things, for all things are not profitable for all men. Neither have every soul pleasure. Oh, that's a lot. That's 28. Be not unsatiable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meats. You know, and yeah, I'm a big fella, too. But, I, I you know, I, I, of course, there's always things I can do better for my health, man. But I ain't never been like greedy. You know, and a lot of the men in the Lord, we ain't been greedy because we appreciate the things that the Lord has done for us. Plus, we're in these wretched ass bodies. But you can't be greedy out here. These people are in that spirit when we were in the wilderness and having a, uh, the lack of bread and, uh, you know, complaining about the manna that the Lord gave us. OK, it says for excess of meats bringeth sickness and surfing will turn into color. All right. So that basically that's when you uh, you eat too much, you start getting sick. All right. You start getting bodily uh, inflammation and things that you aren't going to be having from being gluttonous. OK. Uh, but so this is how it speaks as a nation. America has been a nation on uh, being. Uh, it says how they have lived deliciously. OK. On your, your lifestyles, man. And so now you're bringing forth a sickness. And that's not even talking about a, like a, like the coronavirus. Your sickness is the, the lifestyles of you people. OK, and so you're, you're not going to all of the, the things that you glutton in and materialism, the Lord is going to deprive you of those things. It says uh, by surfeiting have many have many perished, but he that taketh heed prolongeth his life. And you people have surfeited every part of your lifestyles, man. You just want to live the American dream. You want to ball out. You want to be a whore. You want to be adulterer. You want to be an idolater. All right. You want to smoke all the weed that you can. You people are surfeiters. You, you take on more than you can eat, man. All right. You, you're being wicked instead of coming back to your how about Shimei Hey, uh, he's uh, King Solomon said, give me uh, Proverbs 30 and eight, I believe. Give me food that is sufficient for me. OK, matter of fact, let me get that real quick. And then I got a couple more. Um, I think it's Proverbs 30 and eight. 
Yeah, con. Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove. Ooh, let me start at 30 and 7. It says, two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. All right. And give me food, neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, man. All right. So you people aren't even going to be having the food that is convenient for you in these last days. A lot of you people are about to fall into true poverty. OK, because especially you Edomites, you don't, you don't know what poverty is. Jake can kind of make a way. <laughs> you know, we've always been able to do that. But you two thirds are about to see a, a unparalleled level of not being able to be satisfied with bread and not being able to eat, not being able to feed your families, man. You're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices. You you know, you're going to have to have to, you, you brother, you people are going to be eating your, your families. You people are going to be doing all kinds of wickedness in order to, uh, to get food, man. OK, so that's what we wishing for, that the Lord provide for us and give us the food which is sufficient for us. So now let me get some uh, more comforting ones. This is Psalm 78 and 25. This one may be too far. Let me see. It says. Um, I'm going to start at 23. It says. Ooh, 22, because they believe not in the most high. And trusted not in his salvation. That's what two thirds did. They didn't believe in the most high. And they didn't trust in his salvation as they is in these days. So they're going to be destroyed for it. It says, though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven and ha heaven and had rained down manna upon them to eat and had given them of the corn of heaven. So, you know, y'all didn't y'all didn't y'all were unappreciative for the manna in that day. Say, oh, let's go back to the garlics and the leeks and the cucumbers, the times of Egypt. We ate better then. That's what y'all woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, man. OK. And so now that bread is your how shy. OK. And so now if you don't have that manna now, you're going to be started. The Lord said, if you eat the if you eat this bread, you shall um, you shall never if you drink of this drink, you shall never thirst. And if you eat of my flesh, you shall never be hungry, man. OK. It says, and it had rained down manna upon them to eat and had given them the corn of heaven. Man did eat angels food for he sent the meat to the full. See, so now we're going to be eating because you how about has put a blessing and a covering over us. And Lord willing, we be at that number. But all of you people that, that did not believe and that still don't believe to this day, man, you're going to be in a, a very dire situation. OK, and this worldwide food, food shortage coming. It says April or May, man. It's eight. What is, what is today? Um, shit, I got the date probably wrong because it's the weekend. It's probably like April 5th or 6th. You know, <laughs> it's over for these people, man. Psalms 136 and 25. It says. Uh, I'm going to start at 22. It says even in heritage unto Israel, his servant, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics are his servants. For his mercy endureth forever, the elect, the one third of Israel, who remembered us in our lowest state. What's our lowest state? Being in his flesh. He remembered us in our lowest state, man. It says, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our lowest state, for mercy is mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who hath given food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. Do you see that? So, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, he gave food to, to all flesh, to you people. But now he's about to strip that away, man. And he's about to give it only to his elect. Oh, give thanks unto the Most High, the power of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. So his mercy endureth forever right now for his only for his elect. He's taking his mercy from this earth. And I wanted to do another video. You know, the Lord is beginning to withdraw his prophets from off the street. So he's starting to take his his mercy and his grace from off of this earth, only given to the elect. This is Psalms 146 and 5. five. He says, happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, his power which hath made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in there is therein, which keepeth true forever, which ex executed judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. OK, he says he execute judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. See that he's going. And right now we're eating through these scriptures. That's how we're really eating. But he's going to give he's going to give his food to uh, just like he did Elijah with the raven. OK, just like he did Daniel in the lion's den. OK, the Lord is going to uh, provide for us, but it's it's about to be a worldwide food shortage for all of you people. Now I'm ended up with the classic Isaiah 65, you know, because, hey, man, you know, I, I, I said to a family member yesterday, uh, you know, they made a joke about um, not we, you know, we make little jokes, sarcastic jokes back and forth. And they made a joke that uh, they, they, they didn't they weren't going to be able to eat and they were they were 
subject to starvation. I said, hey, man, you know, I, I'm uh, I said, that's coming. I said, don't say that because that's coming. And I don't want to see that happen to you. But I'm a, I said, I'm gonna laugh at these niggas, too. But I don't want to see that happen to you. You know, he said something like, here you go. You know, laugh out loud. You know, hey, you know, it's always a joke until shit gets real. You know, so but I pray it don't happen to him, you know, but nonetheless, you got to be careful with the words that you say, man, because Lamentations three and nine says it is better to die by the sword than to die by the famine, man. OK, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord power. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So you see the the, the dichotomy between. Those who serve him and those who don't, those who serve him are going to eat, drink and rejoice. But those who don't are going to be hungry, be thirsty, and they're going to be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of spirit and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And that's what we're doing right now. We're rejoicing uh, for and that spirit Our, on the screen. It just says, are we headed for a depression? Economists weigh in. Of course, we're headed for a depression, man. And, you know, that's spiritually as well as literally, man. So, Lord willing, this, this lesson was edifying. It's about to be a worldwide shortage. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Until next time, Shalom.